finding the area of a triangle. And you know when we find the area, we find the measure of the inside of the triangle. So in order to understand um, area of a triangle, we can use a formula to do this, but we kind of need to understand what the formula means. So I'm going to draw a rectangle real quick. And most of you know when you find the area of a rectangle, if this is the base or the length, and this is the height right here, we can multiply the base times the height, and that will equal the area right there, or area equals base times height. So um, that gives us the measure of the whole inside of this rectangle. Well, when we find the area of a triangle, when you look at it actually, if I were to draw a line from corner to corner, pretty straight line right here, actually divide this rectangle in two, I now have two triangles. So I have one that's right over here, and kind of shade in in light blue, and then I have one above it on the other side. So um, a triangle is in effect half of a rectangle, or two triangles would make a rectangle if you put them together evenly. So the formula when we go to solve for this is going to be that the area of a triangle, area equals one half the base times the height. Uh, why one half? Because if we go back to my drawing right there, when we get the area of a triangle, a triangle is half of a rectangle, which in the area for rectangles, base times height. So we just get half of that or divide it by two and we can get the area of a triangle. So let's try it real quick. If I draw this triangle right here, this would be close to kind of like um, equilateral triangle. Um, I look at the height. The height they're usually going to show in dashes going up like this to the middle and they say the height here is 6 and then the base along the bottom is 10. I'm going to say this is in inches. So all I'm going to do is follow the formula. One half the base times the height. Well if I multiply the base times the height I get 10 times 6 and get 60. Um, I need half of that now, one half of that. I can either divide it by two, or maybe you know off the top of your head, zero's trick, half of six is three, but half of it, one half of 60, um, is going to equal 30 inches squared. So the area for the this triangle right here, the whole interior side would be 30 inches squared. I just follow the formula, it's half of a rectangle. This applies to any kind of triangle, so keep that in mind. You could have kind of like I had an equilateral triangle. We could draw more of a kind of right-looking triangle right over here. Could be that isosceles triangle, um, scalene triangle, where you get a triangle that's kind of just um, kind of all over the place here. That's maybe has uh, none of the lengths or measurements that are the same. Uh, still going to be area equals one half the base times the height right there. So we'll try one more. I'll get it started and you guys can finish it up. So I'm going to draw this triangle right over here. Make it kind of a right triangle. And um, the height is going to be 18 centimeters. Let's do centimeters this time. And the base along the bottom is going to be, let's do 12, 12 centimeters. So remember that the area equals one half of the base times the height. And I want you guys to go ahead and solve for the area, the interior um, of this triangle right here. Remember to follow that formula and see what you get. Go for it.